Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. This is our third session under the Advanced Power BI Learning Series. This session is all about Power BI Embedded, a new topic. Though the diagram looks very complex, I shall try to make it very simple for you. Let me start with the use case so that you get it easily. Being a BA developer, I have created a dashboard. I have published the dashboard into my stakeholders workspace and they were happy. All of a sudden what happened, you know? So the leadership called me and asked, can we incorporate this report into our online annual report? It should look something like this. The report should go into the content. You know, so far this has been published to a workspace. I hope you know what is a workspace. If you don't know, please refer the previous videos in the series. So when I developed this dashboard, there was no mention of integrating with any website. No, now they have come up with a new requirement. My report should be integrated with their annual report. Again, it's an online portal. So this is a typical scenario every PA developer will encounter in their lifetime. I was aware of how to embed a dashboard into a website or portal. I was thinking about the embed report option. I went to Power BI service. I extracted a link which I could use in an iframe and I could embed in the portal and everything looked fine. Now I am able to integrate my dashboard into the annual report. But you know something went wrong. When I use the approach of sharing to website, you know, I came to know that there is no security. The data became public and it did not allow RLS and there were other limitations too. So in order to overcome these challenges, you know, there is something called Power BI Embedded. And I would like to introduce Power BI Embedded today. You know, Power BI Embedded service is not the same as published to web. The Power BI Embedded has data security with authentication, which we lacked as we used the published to web option. So in our approach to embed, we got the link and we embedded that using iframe. So in this new approach, the Power BI REST APIs can be used for embedding dashboards and reports into custom applications, SharePoint Online, Microsoft Teams, or even in a third-party application like Salesforce. The embedding happens through Power BI REST APIs. So there are two main techniques for delivering embedded analytics with Power BI. One is embedding for your organization and embedding for your customers. In this session, we will try to understand both options. What is when we are embedding for our organization, what is when you are embedding for your customers. Embed Power BI in your product for your customers. Users will not need a Power BI account to view and interact with embedded data. But when embed Power BI for organizations, internal users for enterprises, users will need a Power BI account and permission to access the underlying content to view and interact with embedded data. So while setting up your Power BI embedding environment, you have to decide whether you would like to embed Power BI in an application for your customers or in an application, website or portal for your organization's internal users. Because both approaches take different routes. So we will start with looking at the architecture for embedding Power BI for your organization's internal users. This is the architecture diagram where we are embedding for our organization with the Power BI REST APIs. So we will look into each component. In smaller organizations where all users have Pro license, or in organizations covered by Office 365 E5 license. Organizational embedding works for all users who have Pro licenses. I think the previous session I have explained various usage scenarios of 
power bi there we saw that there will be data sources data sources from cloud as well as from on premise so we will be using on premise gateways to connect to on premise data sources together data from cloud and data from the on premises we will create data set then we will create queries and reports and using power bi desktop and who will be doing the data modeler or data this report designer will be building this reports and dashboards and data set okay so the authoring experience is the same in power bi desktop even if you intend to consume the reports within a custom application this is beneficial because a business user who is a subject matter expert can change content and publish to the power bi service with no change to the normal practice if rollable security is required it is defined in power bi desktop using the same technique as when the reports are delivered in power bi service even our ultimate goal is to embed in a in a portal or website the development aspects is same remain same still we use the power bi desktop to do that after that we got a power bi file dot pbix file then it is being published to a power bi service so it will be published to a workspace the dot pbix file need to be published to the power bi service so the api can render report items embedded in the custom application the reports dashboards the data set should be published to a specific power bi workspace which has been designated for the embedded analytics project note that the publishing to an app however is optional for this scenario the workspace suffices since users will view content directly in the application see there is no need to publish to an app because the the report paginated reports dashboards all will be seen at the customer in the web portal using this rest api and each user need to have power bi pro license also so the next aspect is authentication and authorization so when embedding content in an organizational scenario utilizing power bi premium every user is authenticated to power bi to view data embedded in the custom application so there were therefore authentication to assure active directory is based on the user's individual aid account okay the user's individual aid account is used this allows the embedded content to leverage the same rollable security configured for your analyst and report consumers in power bi so since every individual is authenticated using their assure aid account rls is applied for every user also if you notice there is a premium capacity here so since power bi is aware of every user in this scenario all users will need a pro license or the content needs to reside in premium capacity backed workspace so that power bi free users may view the content as well so either every user should have the pro license or the content should exist in a pro capacity premium capacity so for this reason power bi premium is often discussed in conjunction with embedding scenario if everyone is not having pro license and if the content exists in premium capacity everybody can view the content right so hope you understand that so how is that connection the connection happens through api calls there is no more embedding using iframe that is one important point to be noted from this architecture diagram we have seen how embedding for our organization with the power bi rest apis the next architecture diagram we will see how embedding works for the external users this architecture diagram also looks almost similar to the one we have just seen but you know there are few components which are added to this diagram 
especially the Power BI embedded. So we will look into that in detail. So in general, Power BI REST API can be used for embedding Power BI content into custom applications which are used externally by customers and partners. When I say externally, you know, these customers and partners are no more part of the organization and uh, they should be able to see the content exposed in the application uh, which are external application from the organization without having their Power BI licenses. How do we handle that? That's our uh, discussion point here. So let, let's look at one by one. Again, the development seems to be following the same approach. You know, the data designer will uh, develop queries, data reports and create a PBIX file. And you know, the PBIX file will be published in a workspace. The PBIX file needs to be published to the Power BI service so the APIs can render reports items embedded in the custom application. The reports, dashboards, the data sets should be published to the specific Power BI workspace which has been designated for the embedded analytics project. Again, uh, no need to publish to app because the users can directly access content from the workspace. So there is no need to build any app. I already mentioned that these are external users and partners. They don't have AD account here. So how do we authenticate? So that's a very important question that we need to solve. So the authentication and authorization, when embedding content via use of Power BI embedded, the application user is authenticated and authorized by the application. So the application end user is not required to have a Power BI license. The custom application makes the connection to Power BI, which it does through Azure Active Directory based on either a service principle or a master account. I hope you understand what is service principle or a master account, right? So this is the significant difference than the previous scenario. In the previous scenario, what was happened? You know, every individual will have a pro license and every individual is authenticated against the Azure Active Directory. And that's how the role level security is uh, persisted. That's what we understood from the previous diagram. But in this case, the application is authorizing and it, it is using a service principle or master account. So the partners or the customers no need to have a individual account okay so next we are going to look into detail on this power bi embedded okay you can see it is azure right okay that means this is azure resource so a subscription in azure to power bi embedded provides capacity resources for rendering power bi content which is embedded in a custom application so remember that it is power bi embedded that gives you capacity so specifically this scenario refers to purchasing an A series SKU from Power BI Embedded. Power BI Embedded service can be paused when not in use. So which is very convenient while developing testing scenarios. So the Power BI Embedder can also be scaled up and down to handle the peaks and valleys of varying workload levels. Here API course are used to interact with the Power BI workspace and custom application. User authentication is handled by application. Hope you understand the scenario. In this scenario, there is no individual authentication. Authentication happens through the application using service principle or master account. I hope you understand uh, both scenarios and you should be able to support uh, any kind of requirement for embedding Power BI reports into custom applications using one of these approach. Okay, just remember that Power BI embedded service is not same as published to web. When we share using published to web, we are going to lose all the security aspects. However, when you use this Power BI embed approach, you can have all the security implementations in the Power BI application. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this.